Pro Shifter is underway as Morian Crummers is not going to get the easy jump. Pasterwix will get the nose ahead, but he's just on the outside. Can't fully get clear. Crummers, Pasterwix, Kyle Wick over the curbing in turn number three. And they'll go side by side behind them, but single file for the top five through turn four. Yeah, slow initial start there for Marion Kremers. You know, he got through the first phase of the start rather slow, but as we got into the second phase, the wheel spin kind of stopped, and he was able to hook up and go. Uh, luckily for him, because you'd expect Carroll to have a little bit of an advantage right now as he's got the scrub tires, uh, but for sure the extra pace lap helped clean up those brand-new Levanto tires for these drivers. What a great shot down low there through turn number eight. Shows you how crazy it is here in this Pro Rock Shifter main event. Kyle Wick under heavy fire from Hunter Pickett for third. Giorgio Carrara trying to get around him for fourth as well. Pickett uh, all over Wick. Wick taps the helmet there. It's the first time we've seen a guy actually be able to reach back and then get back to the gearbox without losing time. But look already at the gap for Marion Kremers on the opening circuit. Kremers gets away early. Pashawick's blocking the low side. Wick gets a little bit of a curb. Uh, hit there, gets a launch. On to Pashawick's rear bumper. Looks back to where Pickett is. Goes high. Is he going to try the outside? He is. Pashawick's is going to give him the space. And around the outside, Kyle Wick to second. Giorgio Carrara took advantage of that, that uh, low block there from Carroll Pashawick's. There he goes down the inside of his Lenzo Kart teammate. That's two, two spots for Giorgio in two corners. Very impressive stuff from Carrara. Look at Colin Daly. He's going to go by Pashawix. Here comes Hunter Pickett trying to go as well. Can't quite follow, and Pickett just out-muscled a little bit on the opening lap here, opening couple laps, really, as we complete lap two and work lap three. Look who's getting on the end of that group as well. Justin White is there, and so is Lucio Massini, who goes with a big dive on the inside of Hunter Pickett. Overshoots it just a touch, and Pickett gets that spot back. Sure you go down that one extra gear as we see here. Pickett getting down the inside of... Uh, I do believe that was Pashwitz there to put him up another spot. His Carroll's really struggling right now on the tire. Uh, we're going to see Lutro Massini here. Try and set him up for a crossover coming off the corner. Can't quite make it work there. Lutro, I've raced with him a little bit in Canada. He's a little more on the aggressive side there. Uh, as you can kind of see, the stickers are a little, uh, a little messed up there. As he goes down the inside of Carroll into the sweeper there. So good pass for Lutro there. Um, having a much better side. Oh, and Carrara by Wick. And Colin Daly through as well. What a pass that was from Giorgio Carrara up over the curb. Big time diver there from Carrara. He'll go way low into turn number nine to block. Look as well. Massini on the inside. Justin White on the outside. Around's gone. Baylor Griffin in turn number eight. Carrara versus Daly versus Wick for second on back here. Carrara blocks low. Daly tries to cross him up. Can't quite do it. For Marion Kremers, two out of three main Man. event wins. As, uh, again, great low shot of them found in the curving. Colin Daly missed the shift coming out of turn eight that time. Here comes Kyle Wick looking to the inside for third, trying to get that spot back away. Pickett tries to get in on it as well. He'll drag race him coming out of the corner, but he won't have the inside lane. Has to duck back in, and Daly slots to fourth. Of Justin White and Lucio Massini, not too far up the road from him, as Ethan Boer with a big-time dive bomb on uh, Dominic Legrand. And uh, they're going to continue to go at it there. Legrand, Boer, and Jared Ramna Ryan all in the mix of it headed through turn number 12. You see Lucho blocking low for Magic Kart chassis teammate alike. Uh, good pass there from Justin down the inside in the turn five. Yeah, nice move by Justin White. Machini trying to clear himself. Can he do it? Can't quite. Tucks back in behind him through six. It'll allow Carol Pashawicz to get closer to them again. As the tires start to fall oh. off in the second half of the session, it might help him. That'll help too as Machini... Just mistimed it. Give a big shot to the rear bumper of Justin White going through eight. There we see Vincenzo Saracino looking down the inside of Carroll Pashwitz here in turn one. And he's through. That's already up into P8 for Vincenzo Saracino. So as they come across the line, 11 down, nine to go. Wick's close now. Carrara checked him back, felt it. Blocked low through one. And here we go. Nine to go. Wick all over Carrara down to turn number one. Yeah, Georgia's putting on a... Not quite a master class of defense here like we saw from Kremers yesterday, but for sure textbook defending right here as he goes low into turn four again, trying to, you know, check up the drivers behind him and make sure that he's, you know, not leaving any doors open. Carrara just trying to hang on for dear life as he blocks all the way down to the low side of the racetrack. He'll get into the marbles. Wick goes in the middle. Daly goes way high. Big exit that'll bottleneck them again. Up and over the curbing. 11 and 12. Carrara still stacking them deep here as they come onto the front straightaway. Wick's close. Really close. Carrara knows it. Feels him. Blocks low. Wick going to give him a little bumper and Ooh. move him out of the way in turn number one. That right there was a little more than a little bumper down there <laughs> into turn one. That was, that was a pretty good shot there. You know, when we were at driver's meeting, the race directors. Oh, oh, he turns him. Oh, man. Giorgio Carrara 
just ran into turn four and pile drive the right rear of Kyle Wick. Well, that was an interesting turn of events right there. We it go from a shot was. in turn one to a shot in turn four back the other way. This is where my red miss kicks in. I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty peed, and I'm driving the wheels off this thing. But if George is going to continue to block here, he's going to block Colin because Colin has, uh, looks like he has the pace advantage right now over Giorgio. I don't know if his tires have fallen off or what's happened here, but for sure Colin's quicker, and he's going to back Colin up into Hunter here if Colin can't get around him. And then if those three start battling, we're going to see Kyle come back in the mix. And again, if you're calling daily right, you just saw what Giorgio did battling with Hunter. Now you're going to have to force his way through, and he does. What a move by Colin Daly. He gets through on Carrara. Now he'll start to block a little bit low. Here comes Hunter Pickett for third as well. And like you said, Kyle Wick, he sees them up the road. It still is mind-boggling that he was spun around backwards, and he's been able to catch back up a little bit. Yeah, it was a great pass by Colin Daly there into the sweeper. He saw it was aggressive, and it was clean. It was just that, that slate. He got his tire up there inside a side pod. They both ran a little wide onto the marble, so that was Hunter's kind of go get them right he, you know they got the marbles on the tires it's going to take a couple corners to clean off unfortunately hunter couldn't take advantage of it right then and there but through the battling he's closer we see kyle wick close up even more here phenomenal driver amari and this is what we expect from a driver of his caliber just to have you know races like this he's a professional this is you know this is what he does week in and week out so uh congrats to marion on the win on the championship and you know phenomenal drive this uh, all weekend and all series so For the there last he is time this year Marion Kremers Bam! wins the main event and the championship wow. in Pro Shifter Rock. Daily second, Jacarara third across the line. Pickett hangs on over Kyle Wick for fourth. And uh, for the final time here at the Florida Winter Tour, Marion Kremers wanting to hear the crowd. Do they want some donuts? It looks like we're going to get them for the 401 champion again here in the United States. Marion Kremers burning them down in the outside of turn number four. And the celebration can begin as PSL Karting becomes the first team in the Rock Cup owned Florida Winter Tour era on the 25th edition of the Florida Winter Tour to win both the main, uh, main headline divisions championships with Mateus Morgato and Pro Rock Senior and Marion Kremers in Pro Rock Shifter. Some awesome smoke and donuts there as he just barely, he doesn't have much rear tires left on that thing, struggling to just kind of hang on to her.